Well, Coach Franklin just got the win at Denver Towns. A coach, hard-earned win. They gave you a lot of competition. That's kind of what you want in big games like this. It's yes, a competitive sir. game. What about this game today? Talk about how your girls played. They hung in hard. You got help from a lot of different girls today. Yeah, man, we were undersized big time. Uh, their 32 was huge. Uh, I mean, we had some, some size in every position. We were outside, but we stayed together. We fought hard. That zone, man, I'm telling you, thank you to Jimmy Beheim from Syracuse because that thing works, man. We've been using that for, I guess, about seven, eight games, and uh, it's phenomenal. Um, as long as we can keep Lena and keep the rest of those girls out of foul trouble with that zone, it's going to be pretty hard for somebody to stop us. Uh, this close game was uh, one we needed going into a championship, so I'm very, 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 very proud of those, how those girls fought. Yeah, it was a big battle to the side, 32 from Kaiser. She was a, a load, though. She's tough. She's very tough, and if you give her an inch, she's scoring it, so you better watch yourself. And I, our, our power forward and center kept letting her get behind them, and uh, next thing you know, I'm calling timeout saying, hey, she cannot get behind us like that, you know, and uh, she's already bigger than everybody on the squad, so her getting behind us, we either foul her or she's putting in two, and she was putting in two. They had a, a couple of really good guards, uh, number 30, number 22. They were solid as well, could really shoot the ball, so I had to stick Vanessa again on number 22 to slow her down. I don't think she scored in the second half, but she she was killing us in that first half. Yeah, big number 32, kind of interesting about her. She played hard, worked hard, it was tough. Saw a couple times Vanessa went down one time, helped Vanessa up off the floor of down this end, so it shows she was stopping to help out people in the other team, too. Yeah, she's a very nice girl I got a chance to talk to. Her. We got here early today, and uh, we were shooting around, and she was shooting three-pointers. I was like, hey, you're a big girl. You got to get your butt down there in the post. And she said, yeah, you didn't see me shooting that three. Yeah. So it's uh, it's one of those things where, you know, uh, there's some really good girls in this area, and we like to, uh, you know, play hard, tough, physical basketball. But I'm telling you right now, they gotta, they're got going to be a little sore tonight. That was a really physical team. Tell you what, both teams had kind of a quick trigger in the first half, quick shots, and kind of we're not moving the ball as much as you probably like to on your team anyway. They kind of settled down more in the second half. became a real smooth game then, a lot, a good battle then. Yeah, we started using that high pick and roll because with Lena, everybody's going to trap her. She's that kind of uh, offensive threat. So uh, when you have that kind of talent, the other coach better put a trap on her. So when they put that trap on, we tried to bring the high point up and get some uh, some pick and rolls going. That way that, that those uh, threes were opening up for uh, Morris. You know, uh, Morris hit a couple of threes. We had somebody else hitting some pretty good shots down on the interior off Lena's pick and rolls. So we were able to uh, calm down, like you say, and uh, get everything back to normal. Yeah, it's like Malcolm, Morris, Brown, others contributed today. Oh, yeah. Way. We had everybody get a shot, touch the ball. Everybody got some points. And uh, they earned it, man. They worked their rear ends off, and we're heading to the championship. What's it feel like to be going to the championship? This is your first year as a coach, too, It's right? my first year as a coach, and if I'm not mistaken, this will be the first time Northern's played in a district championship. So, uh, for the girls, anyways, and uh, we're going to we're gonna do our best to try to bring that home for them. Talk about the job Lena did. It was a tough job because a lot of a lot of frustration on her part at times as the defense was so tough on her. A lot of contact sometimes. The officials let them play. But to do that, you just got to be ready to take it and keep going, I guess. Yeah, she gets, she, like I said, she's real emotional, and uh, I understand that the girl's so talented. You know, people are going to come at her one way or the other. And uh, with, the, with, the, with the no calls, that, that's part of the game. You know, you're going to get no calls. Sometimes you're going to get calls, you know, and uh, she's going to go up and hit her free throws when she's fouled. And when she does it, she's going to drive and play hard. Now, we, we needed to uh, get some shots from some other girls so they could loosen up a little bit on her. They threw three or four different girls at her. And one-on-one, -on -one, just not going to get it done. You're going to have to bring a trap. I'm not sure for last names of Brown, but that number 20 drove a couple of times and put that ball in the hole. I was, I'd not seen that for her before. She, stu she stepped up big time for you. Yeah, uh, she's a she's a solid player. I think you're talking about uh, Kamaya. Yeah, man, she's tough. She's one of those girls just moved here too. She's new to the to Northern, and uh, she's one of those girls that plays hard, plays with her heart. Um, and she can score the ball. Uh, that's why I have to put her in, give Vanessa and Morris a break um, by bringing in her and Mariah Hall. Those two are solid backups for us, and, and, and without them, we don't win this game today. Yeah, Hall's another girl helped you. Hall helped big time today, too. Now, you've uh, not seen Eastern, I don't think. You've played Eastern, no, I've, but you have seen Northwest a couple of times. Yeah. What do you expect if you see Northwest in the championship game? We split with Northwest, and I think uh, Northwest and I know each other pretty well, so that'll be one of those games that's – very, very tough for us. We have not seen Eastern, uh, but I, like I said to you last the other day, I don't really care who we play. Uh, we're going to impose our will. We're going to play solid defense, and we're going to see if you can stop Lena and the rest of that crew that can shoot the ball. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be ready. Could be Northeastern. Could be Eastern Washington. You don't care as long as you're in that game and you're there. I do not care who it is. I got Miss Malcolm on my side. She's got everything down for me, so we're good to go. She's got that scout report ready, huh? Oh, she's got the scout report ready. I'll know by 10 minutes after I get home who we're playing, where we're playing at, and how many times we got to play.
am, she'll be ready for me. So I'll be ready to rock and roll. Coach Franklin, good job today. We've been with you today. We're going to be over at Grimsley for the boys' game later tonight. And so we'll see Grimsley's boys. We'll have saw the Northern Guilford girls tonight, but uh, your team, your game was over here. So much closer to the day, but we get two games in one day. So we'll get that done. We'll get you rolling. And a uh, little uh, Vanessa, I know she'll be happy when she's at home tonight going to the meal for the family table. Sit down together and, and say thanks and say grace for this game you've won today. Good job on your part. Keep these girls going. Look forward to seeing you Monday, wherever it might be. It might be a Southwest Gopher. It might be someplace else. We don't know. We'll see you then. We'll see you there, brother. Thank you so much again, okay?